What is up, people on the internet? JQL here, back with another video. Today's video, I'm doing a video on my custom Lego Boku no Hero Academy of figures. And Boku no Hero Academy, like I said in my previous Boku no Hero Academy video, I love this anime. It is awesome. It's one of my favorite. It's probably my favorite anime at the moment. And um, yeah, so here I have two figures you've already seen. One being Tokoyami, but this is a Midoriya version two figure. And I also have two new figures being. Bakugo and Todoroki, all these figures I'm really proud of, and uh, yeah, let's just get started with this video. Okay, here is my Midoriya version 2 figure. If you want to see my version 1, I have a video on it up, up, up on my channel. I'll probably leave a link in the description below to it, uh, if I remember. So, yeah, basically it's the same exact figure. The only differences are the hair, the face, the hand and the pouches on the back. So here are the pouches on the back, basically the same ones on the front. And the face, I just changed the smile, uh, his uh, expressionless face to a smile. And uh, I paint, I sculpted and painted spikes for his hair. I think it looks a lot more accurate and way better. And the hand, oh shoot, I knocked down my stand. That's great. Okay, I'm just gonna fix that real quick. Uh, okay, there we go. And the fist is actually a clenched fist. Uh, Shout out to 97 Lego Maniac. I think he came up with it first. I really don't remember. But, um, yeah. So, uh, it's basically just a clenched fist that I painted uh, metallic red onto to represent him using uh, one for all. And, yeah, I think it looks really good. Uh, so, yeah. It's basically the same exact figure as uh, my version 1. But it's a lot better, though, because, you know, it's a lot more accurate. So, that's pretty much it for Midoriya version 2. And let's just move on to the next and figure. And the next figure is Tokoyami Fumikage. And yeah, uh, you've already seen this figure, but I'm just gonna... I just put him in the showcase because uh, I wanted there to be uh, four figures. So yeah, so here is a better look at my Tokoyami figure. Uh, as I, You've seen it before, so I'm just gonna quickly run through it. The head was a Geonosian head that I sculpted, uh, or actually cut sand uh, the crap out of it, modified it to... and then sculpted onto it to represent uh, Tokoyami. And yeah, the uh, body uh, I made for him is uh, a UAPE uniform. I didn't want to make a superhero outfit because it, it, just, it just doesn't look that good to me. So yeah, I might make it one day, but I don't really want to make it because it's, it's not the best in my opinion. So yeah, Tokyo is one of my favorite characters who's like not a supporting character, but like his, it's one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite characters uh, that isn't the main character like. Uh, Midoriya here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Tokoyami. Alright, here is Bakugo himself. I think this figure has to be the best figure I've made for any anime. Or, like, it also has the best sculpting I've ever had on any figure. Ever, I think. Uh, let me know in the comments if you disagree or not. But, I think this has the best sculpting I've ever done. So, uh, let's just start off with the head. The head was fully painted. I think I uh, pretty much nailed the expression in my opinion. I think it looks really good. And um, the hair piece especially looks really awesome. I took a lot of inspiration from Darkleaf Ninjas on YouTube. He makes a lot of anime figures. He made his Bakugo. I took a lot of inspiration from his, especially from the front. And yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm just really happy with how he turned out. And yeah, removing the head real quick, you'll notice I have a 3D piece right here. I don't know what it is, but I just made it for him. <laughs> He just has this in the show. And also, by the way, why didn't I make his mask? Because uh, I don't like his mask version. So, yeah, I just like it when he has no mask on. So, yeah. Kind of the same case with uh, Midoriya here. Because I, I don't like his mask either. So, anyway, moving on. The torso is very simple. Just a black torso. Painted an X there. Uh, an orange. I also painted, like, all his belt stuff right there on the legs. Uh, I sculpted and painted two grenades. Uh, on his uh, waist, I also sculpted his knee pads, you see there, right there, I painted his shoes, and yeah, there's nothing on the back, it's just really plain, I don't know why there's nothing on the back, but anyway, now on to what you've been probably been waiting for, the gauntlets, the gauntlets, uh, they were fully sculpted, and uh, they are actually on, uh, what are they called, brick forge van braces, and they are removable, so if I move his hand up. Oh, I just removed it. There we go. So that's what it looks like. And they kind of look like turtle shells. I, I don't know why. 
But, uh, yeah, the unfortunate part about these, uh, gauntlets that I sculpted. Hang on, let me just put it back on. Oh, I knocked it over. Uh, I'm going to put it back on. Uh, give me one second. All right, there we go. The unfortunate part is that, as you can see earlier, they don't go around the entire arm. And, uh, yeah, I realized that a few days ago, and I was like, oh, crap, this is inaccurate. It's supposed to go around the entirety of his arm. However, like, if I angle it like this from the front, it looks like it goes around the entire arm. I mean, even though it really doesn't on the back. But you're not going to see it from the back anyway, so... It didn't bother me after I realized I can just do that, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it for Bakugo. Definitely one of my favorite figures of 2017, I think. Uh, I think it... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I think it turned out really, really well. And it's probably one of my favorite figures. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Bakugo. Alright, our final... Uh, Boku no Hero Akatamea figure is Todoroki. Todoroki is one of those uh, really cool characters who acts cool, and I think it, I like his character. I really do. And, um, yeah. So, if you're wondering what outfit this is from, this is, like, his second hero outfit he wears uh, during the second part of the season. Second season. A lot of seconds in that sentence, but, yeah. So, basically, um, let's just start off with the torso and stuff. You basically see I painted all the straps you see there. He has this, like, backpack thing. It's not a backpack, but it's, like, I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, and you can see I painted his belt, sculpted two, pout, like, gray things. I don't know what they are, but I just sculpted them. And, uh, his shoes are painted, his boot, or rather his boots. Really simple. His arms have, like, exposed, uh, uh, his arms are exposed. So, yeah. And now onto the head. The head was, I think I nailed his facial expression. I think it looks really good. Uh, and it looks like Todoroki came to life in Lego, f <coughs> excuse me, form. And the hair, I'm really surprised I managed to sculpt something that looks this good. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't expect it to turn out this good, but I'm really happy how it turned out. And fortunately, like all my, uh, anime figure, uh, hairs, they're not removable. I forgot to mention that earlier with all my other figures, but they're not removable, unfortunately. So, Yeah. But I think this looks really, this figure of Todoroki, I like this version the best. Uh, I don't like his first outfit where he has ice covering his entire left side. I understand that, but I don't like it, so yeah. So that's pretty much it for Todoroki. Not a lot to say, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And let's just conclude this video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of my audience, like a lot of the viewers, don't like anime figures and like, don't want to see anime figures in general from me. But, I mean, if you really think about it, DC, Marvel, and Star Wars figures, they're so, like, generic in this community that I want to make, like, kind of... <coughs> excuse me. I want to branch out sometimes, you know? And it's my channel. It's I'm the one who's making the figures. I make what I want, basically. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not going to take suggestions. I do take suggestions sometimes. But uh, if I want to make a figure, I'm going to make a figure. So... That's pretty much how uh, it, it is for me. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure to give this video a like. Also, comment down who's your favorite character from Boku no Hero Academia or what's your favorite anime at the moment. Mine is definitely Boku no Hero Academia. And, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Flickr. All the links in the description below. And also, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And, uh, yeah, because there's definitely more to come. And, yeah, I have no idea what figure I'm going to make next from this anime. But I know that it's probably going to turn out really awesome like these guys. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever, whatever video that'll be. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.